Hey gang, Jen here. So, a little bit of high strangeness for you. This won't take too long. There is a new variant out, and I am not a doctor. I am not a medical professional. I am not giving medical advice. We are looking at the word Arcturus and its meaning, uh, spiritually speaking. So, if you have any questions about this strain, you should visit your physician. I'm sharing per the Fair Use Act of 1976 for the purpose of education and or criticism. Um, now that that's out of the way, sorry about that, guys. So, there is a new variant out. Um, I may talk more about this uh, from a personal stance. Um, allegedly, God's witnesses and prophets are able to call down plagues. And, <laughs> funny enough, I... I asked God about this not too long ago, just a few days ago. So, again, there's this high strangeness in my life. Arcturus, late 14th century. Uh, this is our etymology tool, so it's not a new word. It is an orange bright star in the constellation Boots, also used of the whole constellation from Latin Arcturi Arcturus and from Greek Arcturos, literally guardian of the bear. Um, the bear is also used to symbolize Russia, but, um, you know, I don't get into politics like that. I think we should be praying for all nations at this point and for our leaders, regardless of what we pray for. Even if we pray that they have a spiritual blessing of a contrite heart and repentance, at least it would lead them to God and, and leading huh, their people in a godly way. It is the bright star, was anciently associated with the Ursa Major, the Big Dipper, which it seems to follow across the sky. For first element, see Arctic. Second element is Greek, Euros, Watcher, Guardian, Ward. Okay, wow, there's a lot here. I could go on probably and do a whole research video about this. Uh, from the pie root, where? Perceive, watch out for. It is fourth brightest of the fixed stars, the double nature of the Great Bear Wagon, Sea Big Dipper, has given two different names to the constellation that fo follows it, Arcturus, Bear Ward, and Boots, the Wagoner. Arcturus in the Bible is in Job, is a mistranslation by Jerome, uh, of course in the KJV, of Hebrew Aish, which refers to what we see as the bull of the Big Dipper. Huh, that reminds me of the Bulls of Wrath. In Israel and Ar Arabia, the seven stars of the Great Bear seem to have been beer, been a beer, the bull, followed by three mourners. Ha, huh, there's that number three, three uh, wise men. In the Septuagint, it was translated as Pleiadia. Okay, so Ple Pleiadians are allegedly aliens that people have had encounters with. I'm not even going to go there. Uh, it says, which is equally incorrect. Well, it's, again, this is a new tool, so please be discriminatory as to what you follow or believe and do your own research, as always. Uh, linked entries, uh, the Arctic, of or pertaining to the North Pole of the Heavens, where Proto-Indo-European root, meaning perceive, watch out for. It fo forms all or part of Arcturus, avant-garde, award, aware, beware. Um, guard, hardware, rev irreverence, Lord, pan panorama, pylorus, rearward, regard, revere, reverence, and on and on it goes. It is the hypothetical source of evidence for its existence is provided by Latin vereri to observe with awe, revere, respect, fear. Greek oros, a guard watchman to see. Guarding, protection, watchman, sentry, keeper. Wow, this really reminds me of the angel watchers as well. This gets deep, folks. If you want to do an entire video, a live uh, research with me, um, I can bump a couple other things I was planning on doing, and we can do that because there's a lot of etymology to dig into here. And I have an actual dictionary that is not new, so that helps too. You guys stay blessed, stay aware. Uh, if you want my opinion on what I actually think about this, just ask. God bless. And, and be watchful.